So we're back. This is Billy and uh, Jason. We're we're looking at a Hyundai. 2015 Hyundai Genesis. It's got the V6, the 3.8 gas direct injected motor. So okay. the fuel is directed individually to each cylinder. It helps improve that fuel economy in such a large sedan, yeah. luxury sedan. It does have the stabilizer bars for that. It's got a huge, huge engine in there. And then here's a nice classic look. God, that looks good. Yes, it does. You got your sensors for your lane departure. Really nice. Of course, you got the really big alloys in this one. Come check out the truck. Let's go. It's hard to believe this is a Hyundai, you know what? I know. Come a long way. And here's the actual trunk, very deep in there. You get at least six kids in here. At least. Probably four adults. All other mattings here. Okay. And you go to the back seat here is really nice in, in the Genesis. They do a 60-40 split. I'm six foot even. Okay. You've got tons of leg room even with the seat all the way back. Okay. And then your rear passengers actually have heated seats. They can control your rear sunshade back here in case they're getting hot. So you've got that as well. Of course, you've also got the window shades, which is nice. So if you want uh, some, some solitude, yeah. you have that in the back. Solitude. There. Solitude. Let's check the window sticker. Window sticker, you're looking at 45650. And this is all-wheel drive, ladies and gentlemen. All-wheel all drive? This is okay. all-wheel drive. I was just going to ask you that now. Yep. Do we avoid the luxury tax on this one? Uh, Where's the luxury tax hit? I do not know, to be honest with you, on that one. Yeah, we'll have to... We'll get, have to look that up. Yeah, we'll have to get back on the comments with this one. But I think you avoid the luxury tax. I think it's... Now over here, you've actually got your lights, your interior lights, your trunk release, your gas release, traction control, blind spot assist, and again, for your rear shade okay. control back there. Okay. Over here, you've got your memory seating. Mm -hmm. You do have the Xcon stereo system in here, so you've got speaker Lexicon, here. Lexicon, Lexicon. Or Lexicon, I apologize. Nice. So you've got... Two, two speakers up here. You've actually got a speaker up here in the corner of the dash, right here. And okay. then you've got your middle speaker. Um, so you're gonna have two speakers on all the other doors as well, plus a sub in the back building. Okay, I'm gonna get in the other side. All right. Wow, this is a good looking car. Heated cooled seat controls, heated steering wheel as well. You've got actually a drive mode button, which is really neat. If you check this out, it shows you here and it shows you here as well. Right now we're in eco. Now we're in a sport driving mode. And then you have normal driving mode. Okay. Stereo sounds great. Here. Yes, it has great sound quality. And we just found out before we started the video, this thing has Wi-Fi capabilities. Built into the car. Built into the car. Of course, you do have nice paddle shifters. Because oh, cool. you do have a sport mode, it's very fun to drive. Let's try it. Let's try it with the uh, and we got home link. We've got the uh, blue link. Let's get this thing out and move it a little bit. Okay. There goes Josh, the used car manager for Honda. And I'm assuming at this point they all have push button start. Yeah, they're all going to come stand push button start. This is a package uh, where you get the panoramic roof in here as well and then you get the smart technology like the lane departure and things like that blind spot assist okay. should be a good opening to the right so we can get this thing moving oh yeah oh it's got you can already feel that nice pickup to it i wonder if we're already we're already in all wheel drive oh you can turn it on or off i believe it's going to be functioning you can you can change it to two wheel. I don't know if it'll be two wheel or if you can lock it in place. I know you've got different modes of all wheel drive. I do know this. Okay. I'm trying to find where. There's it's drive going. mode. Yeah, but that's your sport. Mm -hmm. Put it in sport real quick. Okay, there's eco. There's sport. Okay. Try uh, try going to the left. We should have an opening. Are you trying this with the uh, sport shift? Sport shifter is engaged. Lock and load. Lock and load. This is going to fly. Cross your fingers, ladies and gentlemen. No tickets. No tickets. How fast? 
Wow, that's 60 uh, already. I'm already at 70. Man, that felt good. This thing. That was very, very quick. It just feels strong, you know? I mean, how's the wheel, the steering, does everything feel It's tight? actually pretty tight right now in that sport mode. Does it feel more like a sport car? Does it feel more like a luxury car? It has, I don't know. Does it, it have a Cadillac feel or does it have like the, It has uh, a Cadillac ride, but it has a BMW feel. Oh, nice. Cool. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. That's pretty cool. Okay. Should we go right? Yeah, let's, uh, I'm going to change the drive mode. Okay, we're going to eco? Let's try eco, yeah. Okay. So we've gone down to eco mode, guys. So let's see. So we should assume better gas mileage and not quite as swift. I'm going to gun it again. Yeah, so gun it. See how it feels. A little bit more of a lag in that one. Yeah. But yeah. definitely still swift. Still has the power. Yes, it does. All right, that's pretty good. Let's head back. We are right. flashing. Thanks, Belly. Woo Belly and Jason signing off. We're at the tent sale. Come see us. We'll be there till the 30th of this month. Call, text, or email anytime.